going to be looking down. If it is perpendicular, then it will be looking down, as you can see it right now. Do you see the video? Yes. Okay. Turn it now. Okay. And now it should be facing the service module. That's how it was installed in the first place, and we can't really move it any further. And that's how it was installed, and we moved it up. Um, uh, there's the radiogram instructions. And then, you know, we can't really move it. It's sort of pushing against everything, and that's all. And uh, the regular support, regular boom is installed here as well. Okay, so it should be perpendicular uh, to this support. Boom. Okay, it is in the required position. It is installed uh, perpendicular to the boom. And now, move over to the mechanical lock. And there is a retainer. Uh, and so you will have to turn that and then turn the actual unit. So, should we uh, turn it to open position? Yes, correct. Uh, and then, okay. Uh, okay, uh, yes, and uh, uh, actually uh, it was just released from the lock. Okay, so now uh, you will have to uh, redirect uh, the unit, change its position. So, well, if it is installed uh, in the perpendicular direction, then this um, roller this will not fit the lock. Well, it is unblocked now, but if it is installed parallel to the X axis, then it will be at an angle relative to the lock. To the, to the and so should we secure it in this position? And so it should be installed in the magnetic lock uh, already, and please turn it towards the U.S. segment and uh, I'll put it in the closed position. So look, if we turn it 90 degrees, then this uh, roller is disengaged. So it is at a 45 degree angle now. So we cannot really install it parallel to the X axis. Okay, move it up, and then as much as you can, uh, uh, move it, and then uh, turn around and leave the area. Because, and later on, uh, we will uh, be looking into the pictures and studying it. Do you see anything? No. Well, so, so there is this magnetic lock, and it is installed uh, in that lock. But if we start turning it, then it disengages, and that's all. Well, Sergey, you were saying that this boom uh, can be um, deflected to no more than 15 degrees. And because, you know, the lock, the roller disengages, then there is no way to secure it. Well, if I put it in the closed position, then the boom will be at a 45-degree angle again. So I just did that. So, so the arrow should be oriented towards the SMF. This is the arrow on the actual unit. So it should be looking towards the back So should it be oriented towards MRM? Well, the actual arrow is pointing towards SM service module. Continuing uh, to enjoy the view from Alexei Ovchinin's helmet camera, in the uh, upper left-hand corner is Oleg Kononenko, the Expedition 59 commander wearing the Orlon spacesuit bearing the red stripes, 
as he and Ovchinin are continuing to work to reposition, reorient a plume impingement measuring experiment. This uh, collects uh, data on the amount of residue collected on the outside of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. It is currently uh, being repositioned about 45 degrees off from where it has currently uh, been uh, collecting data so that it has a different orientation to collect uh, further uh, data and uh, residue samples from thruster firings uh, based on various operations uh, conducted uh, on the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Yes, I agree with that. What exactly should we move up? Well, we've just left it up. We're pointing towards the sun module. Well, it is looking at the service module at an angle. And uh, then the actual bone on which this unit is installed. So I can't rotate that. I can't move that. And then once it is attached to the bone, it, you can't turn it or rotate it. So, guys, uh, wrap up. Uh, move the unit up and uh, then leave the area. Well, right now it's looking towards the outer space. So, Sergey, what should we do with it? Uh, should we keep it here? Alexei, do you want to give it a try? Sergey? Okay, okay, guys, wrap up and leave that area. So, right now it is oriented towards the Earth and pointing towards the service module. Copy. Did you copy? Yes, I copied your message. Uh, okay, so uh, get all your tools and everything else and leave the area. Well, I think we have all the tools and we've been carrying all the tools with us throughout the spacewalk. Copy. The uh, two cosmonauts have now not only redirected that plume impingement uh, mechanism on the outside of the Poisk module, but they've uh, removed the two Vinoslavost experiment panels. Again, uh, first installed on the International Space Station in 2012, uh, the Vinoslavost experiment has been uh, refreshed on several occasions. Uh, the panels currently uh, being removed were installed during a spacewalk in February of 2016. This is essentially an ongoing uh, series of experiments, a materials science experiment made up of a pair of panels with exposed metal samples uh, to uh, collect data on how they fare against uh, the environment of space. So, hold on. Well, can you give me that hook? Yes. And I'm going to uh, rotate this test sample.
Jill. Okay, so I'm holding it. And what about the back? Where is it? At the uh, two hour, 42 minute mark into uh, today's spacewalk by Kononenko and Dovchinin, uh, they are working uh, to remove uh, the second uh, in a series of exposure units called the test experiment. Uh, these are um, units uh, that collect uh, material on uh, the possible development of microscopic uh, deterioration of elements, structural elements, on the hull of the uh, Russian segment based on uh, long-term exposure to the space environment. The uh, samples uh, collected in this test experiment uh, are brought inside and ultimately brought home uh, to be analyzed by Russian uh, specialists. Almost all of uh, today's work has been in the vicinity of the Poisk module, which is uh, mounted on the uh, space-facing or zenith side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Uh, it is believed that uh, one item uh, that we just uh, referred to, the repositioning of a plume impingement experiment, uh, may not have been fully repositioned uh, to the correct orientation, but the Russian uh, flight director at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev told the crew to move ahead, continue on the timeline, and don't worry about uh, completing that task as of this moment. Okay, so I'm holding it. Sergey, is that you? No, yeah. we're not. I think it's Chinese that we're hearing. No, it's Arabic. Well, Sergey is speaking in tongues now. Well, guys, uh, use, use your chance to learn some foreign language. Uh, okay, so I can uh, call you in Chinese if you'd like. Well, okay, so give this to me. Okay, so let me hold this one. Okay, so should I disengage the hook? No. Hold on for now. Can I release it? Yes. Okay, so I released my rat. And I rehooked it. And I'm just going to hold it with my hands. Okay, let me release this wire tie. So that's done, and let's move it over there. This is our catch. We're just like fishermen here. It was hard work to catch it, actually. And now you will have to just use the wire tie and wrap it around it. Let me do it from that side. This is uh, the helmet camera view from Alexei Ovchinin, uh, the Expedition 59 flight engineer, who in uh, just a few weeks will inherit uh, the mantle of Expedition 60 commander, taking over command of the International Space Station from his spacewalking partner, Ali Kononenko, as Kononenko hands over uh, command of the station 
prior to uh, his uh, departure from the complex on June 24th, along with NASA astronaut Anne McLean and Canadian Space Agency astronaut David St. Jacques, heading for a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan to wrap up a six and a half month mission on the complex. The uh, crew uh, is uh, stowing a, uh, an experiment called the test experiment that collects data on uh, the uh, effect of space particles on a variety of different material samples. Uh, the crew is continuing uh, to remove science uh, experiments and material science uh, hardware that has been outside of the station uh, collecting data for Russian specialists, all of that to be brought back inside the station for uh, later analysis. All right, we'll hold it. Okay, so we're moving to the boom. Yes, you're going to translate to the boom. And Oleg, please try to uh, switch on the camera one more time because we can see Alexei's GoPro image, but we're not receiving any picture from your GoPro. Okay, let me finish with the wire first. All right, the camera has been deactivated and now activated. Move higher. Yes. Let me hook myself. The green LED is on. Sergey, the camera has been deactivated and reactivated. Copy all. Yeah, we actually had these problems with the camera before. All right, can you see the image? Yes, we can. We are translating to the boom. Copy your go to move to the boom. And when you're on DC-1, please let me know. I have a couple of questions about MRM-2. It is an internal question. It is not a matter of this EVA. We just want to get the answer. Okay, let us move. Let's use the protective ring. Let me reposition myself and turn. The boom that is being referred to is the uh, Strela boom. That's the uh, telescoping uh, boom uh, that extends uh, some 50 feet or so uh, that enables a uh, translation uh, for Russian spacewalkers moving from uh, the Zvezda service module to which the Piers docking compartment is mated to on its Earth-facing side uh, to other uh, modules on the space-facing side of the uh, International Space Station. The uh, items... Uh, that include uh, the test experiment uh, containers, the Venoslavost uh, experiment panels, all of that, uh, and a sensor panel. Uh, all of that will be stowed inside the Piers docking compartment uh, by Kononenko and Ovchina in just a few minutes from now. And a good view of uh, Oleg Kononenko uh, bearing the suit uh, with the red stripes uh, right by that uh, long telescoping boom called the Strela boom. Strela, the Russian word for arrow, which has been used on numerous occasions uh, to enable Russian spacewalkers to move from one location on the uh, Russian segment of the station to another. And the adjustable length tether should go first. Copy. Give me the adjustable length tether, please. Copy. Hold on. Did you catch it? I did. Let us lower it. Wonderful. 
All right, so let us translate. Okay, we are moving down, so to say, copy. We're moving down. That is correct. No, we're not moving up. All right, hold on. Hold on. Just one second. Let me reposition my legs. Are we going to move this way or that way? This way. I'm just talking about the sides. Which way we should move? Either way. Copy. Are you pushing the ring? I am. Keep pushing it, because otherwise I am not, uh, I cannot move at all. All right. Let's move. Keep pushing it. Copy. All right, we're at the gravel picture. Copy, guys. We are in eclipse right now, and I think that you need to take a break, because the most difficult tasks are flying in front of you, so let's take a five-minute break, and uh, in five minutes I'll get back to you and we will continue. Do you agree? Yes, we do. Two hours, 54 minutes into today's spacewalk, uh, Russian flight controllers uh, advising Kononenko and Ovchinin to take a breather. Uh, as uh, the International Space Station flies almost directly over Singapore, moving from northwest to southeast, 254 miles above the Earth. Uh, the crew is just about uh, right on the timeline uh, for today's spacewalk, the 217th, in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades. The uh, spacewalk began at 10.42 a.m. Central Time, 11.42 a.m. Eastern Time as Kononenko and Ovchinin opened the hatch to the pier's docking compartment, made their way outside, set up their equipment, and uh, began by paying tribute uh, to Alexei Leonov, the uh, first human to walk in space. Alexei Leonov, uh, who uh, conducted a 12-minute spacewalk back on March 18, 1965, and who later commanded uh, the Soyuz spacecraft for the Apollo-Soyuz test project in July of 1975, is celebrating his 85th birthday tomorrow. Kononenko and Ovchinin are wearing uh, placards uh, that are taped to their backpacks on their Russian Orlan spacesuits that pay tribute to uh, Leonov, and they brought a picture of him outside uh, as part of the uh, commemorative moment uh, to mark uh, his 85th birthday, which will be celebrated tomorrow. The uh, crew has uh, been working diligently in uh, removing scientific uh, experiments and other uh, data collection hardware from the outside of the Poisk module of the International Space Station as uh, we approach the three-hour mark into today's spacewalk. It is, it is a, a busy time at the International Space Station, not only science being conducted in record uh, amounts uh, hour-wise uh, by the crew inside uh, the orbital outpost, but uh, next Monday, the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft that was launched back on May 4th from uh, the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, and which arrived at the station on May 6th, is uh, wrapping up its uh, cargo delivery mission to the orbital laboratory. It will uh, be released from the uh, Canadarm2 robotic arm next Monday morning at about 11.05 a.m. Central Time, 12.05 p.m. Eastern Time. 
and uh, will uh, be deorbited for a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean to the southwest of Long Beach, California. Our NASA television coverage of Dragon's departure from the space station will begin at uh, 10.45 a.m. Central Time, 11.45 a.m. Eastern Time next Monday, June 3rd. Less than 24 hours later, the uh, ISS Progress 71 cargo craft that has been at the station for the past several months will uh, undock from the aft docking port of the Zvezda service module and will be deorbited by Russian flight controllers to burn up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. So vehicle comings and goings continue uh, in earnest at the uh, International Space Station, uh, punctuated uh, by today's spacewalk by Kononenko and Ovchinin. That is right. I don't see the tether. Where did you leave that one, the one that was inside? I can't see it right now. Oh, this one? Yeah. Inaudible. Oh, it's right here. I can see it. Okay, so... As we uh, approach the three-hour mark into today's spacewalk, we mentioned uh, just a moment ago that uh, the first task by Kononenko and of Chinin after they exited the pier's docking compartment earlier this morning was a tribute to Alexei Leonov, the first human to walk in space back on March 18, 1965. It was uh, at 11.17 a.m. Central Time, 12.17 p.m. Eastern Time that the crew paid tribute to Leonov. For those just joining our coverage today on NASA television, here's a replay of today's tribute to Alexei Leonov. As all of the world's eyes are trained on us right now, we would like to take this moment before we dive into the EVA tasks. It just so happened that we are performing a spacewalk the day before the birthday of Alexei Leonov, the first man to ever don a spacesuit and venture out of his spacecraft's airlock, taking a step into the starlit abyss, into the vastness of space. This is why we precisely this is precisely why we decided to dedicate today's spacewalk to the legend of man, to this legend of a man. Here's a photo of Mr. Leonov that we've brought with us and position it right next to the uh, EV ladder of the Russian segment. Mr. Leonov, please accept our heartfelt birthday wishes. You are with us here and now in the outer space and for the entire duration of this spacewalk, you will be here with us. Stay in great cosmonaut-worthy health. We hope you continue to be happy, inspired, and truly capable of uh, many great new accomplishments. Happy birthday. Mr. Leonov, moreover, we do have uh, some special messages attached to our individual uh, spacesuits that you can see and enjoy reading. Again, happy birthday on this special day. That was uh, the replay of uh, the tribute uh, paid to Alexei Leonov at the uh, start of today's spacewalk by Oleg Kononenko, the Expedition 59 commander, and flight engineer Alexei Ovchinin, who are now uh, three hours and one minute into their spacewalk, the 217th, in support of space station assembly and maintenance. It all began in March of 1965 with Leonov's modest 12-minute excursion outside Vashgad II to set the stage for all those who followed him. Already come again. Pull out the tether from under my foot. I can see it at the moment. The tether is right in my hands. Please pull the kit, and I will release the tether, because one of the tethers is secured inside. Okay, let me move to the other side. All right, the kit is uh, here. It has been engaged. Copy. One tether, one hook with the uh, sensors is inside DC. Copy all. Pull out the second tether from under me, from where I am, and give it to me, and uh, I will push the kit inside the DC. Okay, stand by one. Okay. 
Release the tether and then take it out, like pull it out from under my foot. All right. And this one is also between my legs. Oh, this one too. Okay. You will need to pull it out. You need to drag it out pretty much. And uh, after that, give it to me. Give, give it to me. I will use it to secure the other one. Okay, this one is short one. Let, let me put it right there. Copy. Let me move it. I can't see you. I'm right here. Okay, secure it. And then throw it to me. Where is the hook? On this one. Secure it right here. Come again. Are you going to secure this one or we will just leave it loose? Yes, let us uh, hook this particular tether to this hook. So we'll have two hooks. Okay. Copy, and now let's push it inside. And move away a little bit. Yes, I am pulling it. I'm using the tether and pulling it. Just move it away. I'm holding it, really, and I will pull the tether. Okay. Okay, push it in. Oh, wait a minute, I just got stuck here. All right. All right, I have some gifts as well here. Let me see. The sensors are inside. Is that correct? Copy. Okay, give it to me. Are you holding it? Yes, I am. Have you hooked it? Yes, I have. I'm floating a little bit, floating away, but wait a minute. Inaudible? Okay, one more thing, one more hook. I do think it will get in the way or it will loop itself. No. All right, the Nasova's kit and the transportation kit are inside the module, including the Nasova's. I'm thinking when we ingress, maybe we'll need to double check again. Yes, guys, when you ingress, Oleg, you will need to push everything towards Pechao. All right. Everything has been secured. Copy all. Copy. All like st stand by one. Stand like that. Just hold me. Guys, uh, only five minutes are left till the end of the eclipse. Let us take a break right now. All right. Oh, stand by one. Hold on. Hold on. Oleg, unhook the small tether. Yours or mine? Yours. 
Okay, copy. At the three hour, seven minute mark into uh, today's spacewalk, uh, once again, a view uh, from uh, Alexei Ovchinin's helmet camera of his uh, spacewalking uh, crewmate, uh, Alec Kononenko. You're looking inside uh, the pier's docking compartment through the hatchway where they're in the process of stowing all of the equipment that they've removed from various locations at the Poisk module earlier in today's excursion. All right, let's take a break. All right, let's figure out on which side, on what side we are at. Okay, I am here on top. This is the portrait, and uh, the crew log bag is right there. What is behind it? Inaudible. Is it on your side? No. When I was egressing, I secured everything, crew look bag, Leonov's photograph. It should be all on one handrail. Yes, I can see the photograph. And the hook is right there at the very end. That one? Yes, on the handrail. Let me rehook it to myself. Okay, have you stretched yourself? Did you find it? Yes. All right, what we've got here, here we have all the kids where all the antennas are on my side and I can see only the pins here. Right, the cameras. Okay, do you want me to rehook? Maybe it's a good time for that. Don't tangle yourself here because here. At the spot where there are a lot of feathers, just be careful, okay?
никого с собой не взял. Have you grabbed that with да you? No. Все оставил здесь. All right, I'll leave it here. All right, Sergey, we are translating. I am in plane one. Copy. When you get to the ring, please stop there. Copy. Okay, I'm here. Copy. Let's wait for Alexei. Alexei has to be there as well. Okay. And then we'll rotate the solar rays by 90 degrees so that they're not in the way. All right, and what about the swabs? We will need to get them where? In the middle, somewhere where the actuators are, solar ray motors, that's, is that correct? Okay, let me get the kit. And where should I locate myself under the solar rays? So, should I do it from underneath? No, when I'm saying down, I'm talking about my current position. So, should I move? Further down? If I move higher on the handrail, will that be visible? I can't see any handrails. You will need to use the ring handrail to move. Okay, look what we have here. There is a cable here. I am near window number nine. I don't see any handrail that's going further, going out further out there. Everything is closed off here. I see the gap spanner here. Okay, tether. I believe it's lower. You will need to find handrails 24, 11, 24, 12. And you will find it right there. This is Mission Control Houston, three hours, 17 minutes into the uh, spacewalk. A, a good view of Alexei Ovchinin wearing the suit bearing the blue stripes uh, near the hatchway to the pier's docking compartment that you see in the upper portion of your screen, joined uh, by Oleg Kononenko uh, wearing the suit bearing the red stripes. The uh, two crew members have stowed uh, a variety of different uh, pieces of hardware removed from the Poisk module that have been associated with a ver uh, various science experiments uh, collecting data 
on uh, the environment of space. They are now uh, about to use uh, samplers, as they are called, uh, collection devices uh, to collect samples of residue from service module thrusters on the Zvezda service module. I don't see any handrails anywhere. Alexei, where are you? I'm following you. Okay. If Alexei turns towards uh, PHO, then uh, once he gets to the circular handrails, you will have to make a turn. Yeah. yeah, everything's covered by panels, so the numbers on the handrails are covered by the panels. Yeah, but if you hook yourself to it, you can lift it up. Yeah, we're going to uh, get our swab samples. So this circumferential handrail, and then there is another one, which is kind of like in parts, broken up in, into parts. Right. But everything is covered up with um, MMOD shielding. The uh, two uh, spacewalkers, Kononenko and Ovchinin, will be working on what is called the large diameter of the uh, Zvezda service module. I am launched uh, in July of 2000 as the uh, centerpiece module of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Go ahead and there. Again, uh, Ovchinin uh, with the suit uh, and the blue stripes, Kononenko just uh, to the lower right-hand corner of your screen on the right side, uh, wearing the suit bearing the red stripes. They will uh, be using uh, sampler devices to collect uh, samples of residue from service module thrusters before moving on uh, to the final major task of today's spacewalk, that being the dismantling of uh, two units and their associated booms for an experiment called Obstinovka. The Obstinovka experiment uh, is designed um, to investigate plasma wave uh, characteristics in the ionosphere in the uh, region uh, that the International Space Station orbits through. The Obstinovka experiment was first installed uh, during a Russian spacewalk in April of 2013 by Pavel Vinogradov and Roman Romanenko. With all of its data having uh, been collected and the experiment now, now complete, uh, the uh, two crew members will be uh, disassembling both uh, a uh, base unit and uh, an associated uh, telemetry boom. At least uh, one of these uh, two units will be jettisoned near the end of today's spacewalk. If time permits, both units and their associated booms will be jettisoned and we'll be tracking all of that. Uh, the ballistics analysis shows that the uh, jettisoning of uh, this hardware later in today's spacewalk retrograde from the International Space Station uh, will not uh, pose any risk of recontact with the station or will not pose uh, any uh, adverse effect on the um, release of the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft next Monday and the uh, undocking and deorbiting of the ISS Progress 71 cargo craft on Tuesday of next week.
Вот, и нам, в принципе, метра полтора, два максимум надо подняться. So we need to go up about two meters, maybe one and a half, and then uh, we'll be on, on the radial. Yeah, I think so. The solar array has finished rotating, and uh, right now it's um, perpendicular to the x-axis. Copy and confirm. So start translating. А здесь что такое? Это не, это не они? А вы видите? Is it them? Серег, это что? Сергей, can you see it? What is it? All that black stuff. Is it what we're looking for? Yes. Um, everything in that area should be uh, black. That's great, but which one is which? That is the question. Let's see. Can you retrieve the test panels for me? In a moment. All right. So you see three of them, correct? Yes, there are three of them. Two are uh, completely black, and uh, they look like. And and one just has black spots on them. All right, so the two ones that are se separated from the other one, the one you're looking for is the one that's um, attached away from the other two. Closer to the handrails is uh, number 39. Okay. Handrail is also completely blackened, and uh, there is absolutely no number that we can make out. All right, so go ahead and uh, turn on uh, GoPro and uh, take close-ups of this uh, handrail and uh, the unit. GoPro is on. I will do some imagery with it. The handrail is pretty far away, actually. The one that's closer and facing the handrail. Yes, that's number 39. All right, Alexei, we need number 39. Okay, let me get closer to it. I'll take some pictures of you in the meantime, uh, Alexei. And this is EV1 again. Um, the openings, the, the orifices are clean. It's just that everything around it has been blackened. Right. So some crews previously reported some brown spots. So yeah, I guess uh, they've changed colors multiple times. The uh, view from Oleg Kononenko's helmet camera as he takes samples of thruster residue from vents on a variety of different thrusters along the so-called large diameter or longitudinal axis of the Zvezda service module. The International Space Station flying 254 miles over the Southern Pacific, about to begin a track from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. Towards PRK, that's the one that you are saying is, should be number 15, correct? That's right, Oleg. All right, so whichever test comes out 
first? That's the one that's going to go on here. Sounds good to me. I'll let Go ahead. The sun is shining right in the eyes. How gorgeous is it? Nightmare. How about you retrieve it? I'm going to hold on to the crew lock bag, the handle. Take it out. I know I'm supposed to take it out, but I'm supposed to be holding myself uh, with something as well. Don't touch the um, dirty spots. Hold on to my left hand. Now I'm turning around. Logan, Lexi. Yes. From what I understand, the surfaces are completely identical. So let's put the test panel on uh, one test panel. So what do you want us to do, Sergey? Take two samplers out of each test panel. Since the surface um, near those uh, valves or vents, rather, is uh, identical, so we'll try to use two samplers to take a sample uh, at um, the location of unit number 15, and then we'll take two samples using uh, two samplers from the other test panel. From um, unit number 39. Copy. We retrieved test number test kit for a sampling from um, unit 15. Got the first one done. The view from Oleg Kononenko's helmet camera, he and uh, Alexei Ovchinin continue uh, to collect residue samples from a series of uh, thruster valves on the uh, Zvezda service module, part of the uh, ongoing data collection of uh, how thruster residue uh, does form uh, based on uh, a variety of thruster firings and supportive operations on the Russian segment of the station.
Сергей, я... Ты слышишь меня? Сергей, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Я накатанные движения не делаю, чтобы перчатками сюда не залезть. I'm trying to... Not... Uh, do anything other than uh, vertical motion uh, because I don't want to uh, touch anything with the gloves. That's exactly how you should do it. I, I don't want to get anything on my gloves. We don't want you to get anything on your gloves either. Let go of it. Now number 39. No, this is it. Should, should we use two more samplers um, to collect swab samples from number 39? Yeah, we would like you to do it. So the two samples that you took, go ahead and put them back in the same uh, test panel and do the same uh, with the samples you take from unit number 39. That's exactly what we did, Sergey. Thank you very much. And we're working on number 39. Copy. I don't understand why it's not coming out. Go ahead and hold on to it. I am holding on to it. Uh, hold it with one hand and use the other to take the sample. I don't know if the threading on this is plastic or something. Someone put a lot of effort in manufacturing this. It's going in very tightly. Sergey, it seems like it's a little crooked. It's not really vertical, vertical. Sergey, are you hearing our comments? Yes, I am hearing it. And Mr. Tsugankov is hearing you. Okay, it's out. Oleg did a great job cleaning it, though. It was black before, and now it's um, back to its original color. Turn it over. I'm going to turn myself around, Alexei. Hang on. Why don't you get a little closer to me? Alexei, can you pull it down? This one is not turning in at all. Copy, Oleg. Oh, 
Все нормально, да. Хорошо, при... Did it go in all right? Yes. But it's kind of hard to take it out once it's inside. Second sample collected on Unit 39. Copy. And that's complete. Copy. Go ahead and stow all of those samplers in crew log bag. Copy, in work. Do you want to take a two minute break or so? Okay. All right, guys, whenever you feel ready I'll let to um, press ahead, let me know. In the meantime, you can take a short break. And we're basically right around uh, on the timeline. And uh, are there two connectors on this side? On this side, two. And one on the other, correct? That's right. Should we get moving? Okay, Alexei. Um, so where are we going? We're going to go down. Over there? No, we're going to go down. Below where we, we are right now. Right, Oleg. Uh, it's exactly where you were previously before uh, this task. So, Oleg, this is uh, Alexei. Uh, I'm going to start translating. Are you going to go around me? No, I'm going to go down below you. And you need to turn around. Oh. This is Mission Control Houston, three hours, 43 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk. Veteran Russian cosmonauts Oleg Kononenko and Alexei Ovchinin continue to work just about right on the timeline for today's activities, uh, highlighted by the uh, removal of a variety of science samples and hardware from the exterior of the uh, Russian segment of the station, most particularly uh, from the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the complex. Uh, the crew is wrapping up uh, the collection of residue samples from thrusters on the Zvezda service module. They uh, soon will be pressing ahead into uh, one of the more laborious tasks and the final uh, item on the timeline for today's spacewalk, that being the demating of uh, connectors 
and the removal of uh, two uh, instruments and their associated telemetry booms for an experiment called the Obstinovka experiment, which measures uh, plasma wave activity in the uh, vicinity of the direction of the orbit that the International Space Station travels in. All the data from that experiment, uh, which was first uh, installed on the station back in 2013, has been collected. And so the uh, Obstinovka, there are two boxes and their associated booms that will be removed. And if time permits, both um, sets of items, or four items in all, will be jettisoned retrograde from the International Space Station. You know, Sergey, I think um, the, the um, antenna has tethers on it. I don't think we should have gotten so many uh, tethers with us. No, those are gap spanners. They have... Uh, um, enough uh, strength to hook yourself to. So that's why we put them there. Okay. Well, I suggest the following. So you're going to position yourself in that area, and then you will think about it. After that, we're going to remove the boom. Does that sound, does that sound good? Okay, so yes, uh, please uh, think about uh, how you're going to position yourself for jettisoning the boom. Okay. Do not start this operation right away. So please stand by and think about it. Okay.
Так, вот она родимая. Okay, so here it is. Так. Надо размещаться, значит. And we will have to position ourselves in the following way. We're going to face. Так. Well, let's see. That side? So should I come up from that side? Uh, well, uh, you will have to uh, be next to one of the wind knobs, and that will be next to the other one. And I think your feet should be uh, orient oriented towards the earth, and you will have to move up. Well, no, there's nothing here. Three hours, 49 minutes into the uh, spacewalk, Russian flight controllers uh, are um, reviewing some of the procedures with uh, Kononenko and Ovchinin. And the International Space Station flying over the southwest Atlantic Ocean, moving from southwest to northeast. The uh, final task of today's uh, spacewalk will be the uh, demating of connectors and the removal of a pair of uh, units for an experiment called the Obstinovka experiment, which measures plasma wave activity in the vicinity of the International Space Station. All of its work uh, has been completed, all of its data has been collected, and at least uh, one of the two units associated with the Obstinovka experiment and its associated telemetry boom will be uh, removed and jettisoned. If time permits, both units and both booms will be uh, summarily jettisoned as well, retrograde from the International Space Station. Well, I wish it were just a bit further out uh, to make sure we can reach the handrail. Is there a handrail behind it? Yes, there is one, but it's long. So should we move over there? Yes, I think so. Alexei, did you hook it? Oh, over there, can you please check? Well, no, everything is nominal, and how come it's not extended? Well, how come you cannot uh, hook it onto the handrail? Can you turn to the left some more? And what about your adjustable length tether? Is everything nominal with that? Okay. I've just untangled it. I think it got hooked on something or tangled up in something. Uh, be careful. There is a solar array right here. Okay. Okay. I think we're at PVK-1. Well, I, I see that you worked hard. Well, I think we're too far out. I think we should have stopped earlier. And why is that? Because actually we are now um, on a different side. Well, actually, this is why. Uh, Antonio, 
in plain view. Well, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Okay, it doesn't really matter, so you can go ahead and get started with PVK-1 operations. I need to secure myself to something, and I don't see any gas fanners or anything, because they're at PVK-2 units. That's uh, where they are. Okay, copy. I will try to reach it from here. Yes. It will be more complicated to jettison all the hardware from here. Yes, there are so many antennas installed. Well, guys, look around, and if you have any concerns regarding antennas and other equipment, we are not going to do anything here in this area. It's not required. Well, let's see. Let me position myself, and we're going to remove all the units and jettison them. Just let me position myself as best I can. Well, there will be something in the way, some sensors or something else. And if I turn around... Oleg? Go ahead. Make a decision now. Well, like I said, it is not required for you to remove PVK units and jettison them. Well, we're going to complete everything. I'm just trying to look around and see how I can position myself and everything. I'm checking out all the connectors, and et cetera. And let me find find a good position for jettisoning. Okay, Alexei, look for the best location or position to do that, and I will uh, I will unscrew all the connectors. Okay. Well, you will have to precisely hit this uh, area because there is a boom here. And there is this clearance between the unit and that boom. Well, you can, this can be jettisoned during the next TVA because it's not operational. Well, since we are here already, we can jettison it now. No, let's just complete uh, our EVA tasks, and that's all. Sergey, that was a joke. Well, from this position, we can jettison all the hardware if... Uh, I grab the edge of this equipment so we can try doing it from here. Okay. Like that. So we're going to deinstall the units. And then uh, you're going to hold them. And why did you turn? The I'm going to remove the connector. You will have to remove the antenna first and then the connector. Okay, and the cable is short here. Well, actually, we're going to remove the unit right away as well, along with the antenna. And once we remove the unit, we're going to jettison everything. Because I think uh, I'm hitting uh, my backpack against that. Well, we can... Uh, uh, and what about the antenna? Is it secured to um, the tether? Yes, it is. Uh, then we're going to um, jettison both antenna and the PVK unit. Okay, just position yourself, and I'm going to deinstall the antenna. Do not turn around. I'm going to remove antenna and the unit. So I'm actually uh, taking out the connector already. It is open now and it's uh, out. And let me insert it. 
This is Mission Control Houston. We're coming up on the four hour mark into uh, today's spacewalk. Ali Kononenko on the left in the suit with the red stripes. Alexei Ovchinin on the right wearing the suit with the blue stripes as they are in the process of removing the first of two units associated with the Obstinovka plasma wave experiment and a telemetry boom that they will be jettisoning a short time from now. Iser. So if we're going to secure it onto the handrail, then I will have to unhook my tether first. Okay. So it is actually secured to the handrail. Okay, let me turn it. Okay, the antenna is out. And turn around, I'm holding it. Okay, I'm going to position myself. Well, make sure it's a good position first, and then proceed with the rest of the steps. And I cannot really give the equipment to you in this position, so I'll have to turn. So can you grab it? I don't see it. Well, can you move it over here? Yes, I'm handing it to you. Do not release it now. Hold on. Well, it's actually secured to red. One second. Okay. Do you have it? Uh, yes, I have it in my hands. Make sure you're comfortable. So I'm holding it now. Sergey, we did not copy. And please don't forget to unhook equipment tether. Uh, we're not going to forget about that. It's right in front of me. Okay, so do you have a hold of it? Yes. Okay, go ahead and release it because it is uh, secured with the tether. So don't worry about it. Are you going to jettison it in that direction? Just like that. Are you ready? Are you going to jettison with the tether? No, I'm going to un unhook the tether. Okay, go ahead and do that. So I just don't see if you're holding it or not. Take a hold of it in a different uh, uh, place. And then you're going to uh, take it. Okay, it, the tether is unhooked. I'm holding the boom. And let me uh, help you direct it. Are you holding it? Do not sway back and forth. So, meter per second. Okay, here it goes. And at uh, 2.44 p.m. Central, 3.44 Eastern, the uh, boom for the first of the two Obstinovka plasma wave experiment packages has been jettisoned again? by uh, Oleg Kononenko. Okay, so jettisoned by the cars now. I'm going to disconnect, demate all the connectors, and then I will see what we can do with the rest of it. And Oleg, we're not seeing the video from your camera. Is that comfortable like this? The uh, jettisoning of uh, the antenna boom for the first of the two Obstinovka experiment packages occurred as the International Space Station was approaching the southern coast of Ireland. And I think it's um, secured with a wire tie. Our friends did some good work here. And there is definitely a lot of wire ties in our country. Okay, this connector is demated, copy Oleg, and I'm going to uh, secure them with the cable. Okay. And where are you going? These are station cables. Let's 
try using the lyric equip. These are not lyricers, lyric equip. These are cable holders. Okay, let them just float here for now. Okay, and what about this wire? Well, it's uh, actually uh, holding it all here, and it goes from one handrail to another. Okay, so I was able to uh, release one of them just using my hand. The crew uh, continuing to work on the uh, demating of connectors holding the first of the two Obstinovka plasma wave experiment units after the jettisoning of uh, one of the antenna booms. Uh, the next step will be the jettisoning of uh, the first of these two units, a good wide view of the Piers docking compartment, and at the top of your screen, the ISS Progress 72 cargo craft. Which one are you going to uh, re release? Okay, this is mine. The one that's closer to me, that's what I'm going to work on. Okay, so I've uh, just installed it. Okay, the, this thread is of such good quality, and I think that tomorrow we will not be able to use our um, hands to do anything on the station, because today is uh, the day of using fine motor skills, apparently. Well, could you please uh, unscrew it fully and move towards me? Okay, did you thread it on completely? Yes, I think so. I don't think there is any clearance on my side. Okay, that's it. It's installed, so two of them are installed. One of them is secured. Is it secured with the tether? Yes. And the tether is secured as well. Okay, so should we just jettison it with the tether? Or should we rehook the tether? And okay, okay, that's it. I've released it. Okay, go from that side. Okay, it's off now. Copy. And now please move away, going from underneath it. And well, actually, it's short length should be oriented towards the handrail. And then for the other one, it will be just closing here, and I will have to somehow grab a hold of it. Where exactly uh, should I hook it? <laughs> Go ahead and hook the tether on the handrail. So move uh, from the other side and come out from the other side to make sure that uh, you can uh, hook your tether, that you're comfortable. Okay. Uh, oh, so one, once, when you get home, you're going to be great at playing baseball. No after all the jettisoning. So make sure you don't praise me too much. Well, through that. Okay, so I'm handing it over to you. And I can grab a hold of it. So I'm still holding it. I think it should be lower. So you can grab a handle. There is nothing that atta that's attached to it. And guys, what about your GoPro cameras? Are they both on? 
включен. GoPro cameras, are they on? Yes, both cameras are on, and I can double check. Okay, let me hand it over first to Alexei, and then I will check the cameras. Okay, yes, please check the cameras. So when I charge them, and when I um, adjusted all the settings, so I had four hours on mine and six for Alexei's camera. Copy. So how is it? Well, so so. So it is against the velocity vector and sort of forward. Sergey, I'm not going, not going to be able to see anything because I'm filming Alexei and I will have to demate all the connectors and everything. It's too late to change anything out at this point. I'll have to unhook my tethers, etc. There is no need to do that. Well, Sergey, it's a real competition here. Okay, and, and move your hand up. Because you're coming up on the uh, solar pass. So, yes, we, we can see the atmosphere. So we're, we're going to use it as a landmark. Okay. Alexei, no rush. It's a large unit, so make sure that uh, you've positioned yourself really well. Well, I'm ready. Are you holding the handle? Yes. So should I let go of it? Yes. Okay, let me turn around first. Because you squeezed me out from this area. Do you see the horizon? Yes. Okay. I let go of it. Move away. Okay. And uh, this hook is floating here, so check on that. Meter. One meter? Yes, meters per second. And it's going well. And it has approximately the same. And there is the uh, jettisoning of the first of the two Obstinovka plasma wave <laughs> units just a few minutes following the jettisoning of the first of two antenna booms. So two of the four components now have been jettisoned by Kononenko and Ovchinin. This coming uh, as uh, the International Space Station flew 254 miles over the Black Sea. We are here, and I don't think we should wait for the next spacewalk. No, there is no need to do that. Well, uh, Alexei, uh, it seems like he's just starting with everything. He has two more uh, units to jettison. Okay, so shall we take a break? So what about the cables? Hey guys, please take a break. Take some time. To rest because we're going to jettison the rest of it uh, during the solar pass, uh, and uh, then you will remove Shekade to boom. I 
Okay, so we're going to uh, tie this on to the handrail. Get that wire tie. So we're going to use the wire tie. This is Mission Control Houston, four hours, 16 minutes into today's spacewalk by Oleg Kononenko and Alexei Ovchinin, uh, the fourth spacewalk of the year at the International Space Station and the fourth for Expedition 59 crew members. The uh, two cosmonauts are taking a breather after they demated uh, connectors for the first of two Obstinovka plasma wave experiment units and its associated uh, antenna boom. No. They were jettisoned of I. Kononenko and Ovchinin a retrograde from the International Space Station. When they resume work, they will be uh, removing the second of these two units and uh, the antenna boom associated with it and jettisoning it as well. The Obstinovka plasma wave experiment uh, was first installed on the station during a Russian spacewalk by uh, Pavel Vinogradov and Roman Romanenko back in April of 2013. Its work now completed, all the data having been collected. And so uh, one of two units and its boom have been jettisoned. The second uh, unit and its boom will be removed and jettisoned a short time from now to complete uh, the final major task planned for today's spacewalk. Because I'm afraid they might float away from the bag. It's almost impossible to secure them 100%, but once we loosen it, we can uh, install everything and sew everything properly. Copy. Today's spacewalk is the fifth in the career of Oleg Kononenko. 
who is uh, en route uh, to surpass 700 days in space on this mission, which for him will come to an end on Monday, June 24th, when uh, Kononenko, NASA astronaut Anne McLean, and Canadian Space Agency astronaut David St. Jacques board their Soyuz MS-11 spacecraft that is docked to the Poisk module, where most of today's EVA work has been centered around. They will undock uh, their Soyuz spacecraft and head for a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan to wrap up a six and a half month mission on the International Space Station. Kononenko will be handing over command of the International Space Station on Sunday, June 23rd to his spacewalking uh, partner for the day, Alexei Ovchinin, who will become station commander for Expedition 60 that will officially begin with the undocking of Kononenko McLean and St. Jock from the complex. Inaudible? Yeah, I can hear it clicking. I don't think we can inaudible. No, we will translate there in the direction of my feet right now. No, we will move it perpendicular. No, but we don't need to translate there. Oh, yes, I've seen it. Okay, I can see it right now. I can't see anything here. It's really dark. Yeah, I can see the EVA letter. Yeah, I can see it as well.
Yes, this is Alexei. Can you... Yes, go ahead. Can you please uh, check the hot air switch position? Can you please check on that? Is it in the neutral position? Yes, it is. Copy. Neutral position. Copy. Anytime. Can you see PVK2 or at least the boom? It's really dark. No, I don't think so. Okay, okay. Take a break. We can see the hatch. We can't even see the horizon because we are looking in that direction. But we can't see anything. It's really pitch dark. Okay. But it can give you a break. We don't have any time constraints right now. So you have been outside for four hours, 25 minutes, and uh, we still have almost two hours to six hours, 15 minutes, so... No rush, guys. The fourth solar array? Yes, yes, we understand. Yes, we found that solar array. So we will try to translate underneath, and after that, we'll get back also underneath. Why would you do, do that? You have handrails between the first and the fourth planes, and you can use them. You can see the Pevaka, it's right there. Well, that's right. So, where my feet are directed, we are between the first and the second solar rays near window number six. Yes, I can see the window right now. Yeah, we will move in that direction. Yes, you will need to move towards window number nine. Copy all. Copy. What about the wire? Where did you coil it? Yes, three wires are there. Okay, copy. Yeah, let's secure them on the handrail. Yeah, we can secure them at the base of the handrail. Okay, so we will just strengthen the handrail. We agree with that.
This is Mission Control Houston, four and a half hours into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Kononenko and Alexei Ovchinin uh, continue to take a breather during uh, this night pass over the Earth. Uh, Kononenko uh, wearing uh, the suit bearing the red stripes as uh, EV-1 or extravehicular crew member number one. Alexei Ovchinin uh, wearing the suit bearing the blue stripes as EV-2. They have been working uh, since opening the hatch to the pier's docking compartment at 10.42 a.m. Central Time, 11.42 a.m. Eastern Time today, and have made their way through all of the tasks associated with the, the removal of uh, science equipment and uh, samples of uh, residue, as well as uh, other samples of uh, material science uh, experiments that have been exposed uh, to the uh, environment of space for the past several years. Those have all been brought back inside uh, the pier's docking compartment. They also collected uh, residue samples from thrusters on the Zvezda service module and have disconnected and jettisoned uh, one of two uh, Obstinovka experiment units and its antenna boom. Uh, the second uh, unit and its boom will be removed and jettisoned a short time from now when the crew picks uh, back up uh, on its workload in this final task for the day. The crew is running uh, some 30 to 40 minutes ahead of the timeline. We'll see how well they do uh, in the home stretch here in this 217th spacewalk in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades.
Олег Алексей. Олег Алексей. Олег Алексей. Да. Yes, go ahead. Да. Go ahead. Тут вот для информации. Yes, for your information. Yes, go ahead. Большое спасибо вам. Thank you very much. Сегодня uh, Guys, and uh, we would like to relay the words of Alexei Leonov. Today was the opening day of the Memorial Museum exhibition, and we were broadcasting the video uh, and your kind words. And the daughter of Alexei Leonov was saying thank you very much. So on behalf of the entire family, we'd like to say thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much. It's really pleasant to hear it here. Yeah, guys, we just wanted to break some good news to you. We still have seven minutes left till the end of the eclipse. Seven this is Mission Control Houston. Uh, as Kononenko and Ovchinin wrap up a brief rest period during this uh, dark pass of the Earth, uh, greetings. Uh, from flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karolyov outside Moscow, acknowledging uh, the tribute that they paid at the beginning of today's spacewalk to Alexei Leonov, the first human to walk in space back on March 18, 1965. They are uh, the two spacewalkers, Kononenko and Ovchinin, both wearing placards on the back of their Orlan spacesuits, uh, providing uh, greetings to Leonov and uh, best wishes on the eve of his 85th birthday. The uh, family of Alexei Leonov uh, responding uh, with a hearty thank you for that tribute to, to Leonov, who uh, ventured outside the Vashgad 2 spacecraft on March 18, 1965, for a 12 minute excursion. The, uh, the graphic you just saw a moment ago showed Kononenko and Ovchinin uh, with uh, the spacesuits bearing those greetings on the left. Uh, the words uh, Leonov number one, signifying uh, his uh, role as the first uh, human to walk in space. And on the right, uh, on the back of Ovchinin's uh, spacesuit, the words Happy Birthday, Alexei Arkhipovich, uh, the patronymic name for Alexei Leonov. So uh, their uh, work uh, to acknowledge Leonov's historic milestone as the first human to walk in space acknowledged back in Moscow by Leonov's family on the eve of Leonov's 85th birthday. Let's start with the one that is closer to you. Let me check. Inaudible? Hold on, hold on. There are really too many of them here. Yeah. It's right here, the upper one. Two of them, they're right here.
Have you tried them? The light is constantly on, and it feels like somebody is inside there. Yeah, you're right. Engage it. Let me go down here. Inaudible. I believe that looks nominal. Now move it. One more turn. One more turn, Alexei. to this handrail. Any handrail will do. The closest handrail will do. Are you done? Yeah, I'm trying to find some holes here. Can you tie it on top? It's really beautiful. Look at that. That. Just look at that. Okay, I'm removing the hook right now. Sergey, the cable has been tied to the handrail. We can see that as well. Thank you very much, guys. Great job. We are still a couple of minutes away from the sunrise, so please get ready to translate further. We will. Thank you. 
This is Mission Control Houston. The International Space Station has flown into an orbital sunrise just uh, to the south of the continent of Australia, about to begin a uh, swing across uh, the South Pacific in an orbit uh, 254 miles above the Earth, everything uh, proceeding in great fashion with today's spacewalk by Oleg Kononenko and Alexei Ovchinin, now four hours, 48 minutes long. The uh, two cosmonauts, after a rest period during a nighttime pass of the Earth, are about to uh, embark on the final task of today's spacewalk, that uh, being the disconnection of uh, cables holding uh, the second of two so-called Obstinovka plasma wave experiment packages in place and its associated antenna boom. The first of those two packages and the boom uh, were removed and jettisoned a short time ago. The second uh, package and its boom will be jettisoned uh, in a few minutes, and that will wrap up uh, all of the activities associated with today's spacewalk, one of the highlights of which was uh, the commemorative greeting for cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, a pioneering cosmonaut who was the first human to walk in space back on March 18, 1965, out of the Voskhod 2 spacecraft that he was launched in along with Pavel Belyaev. Leonov is celebrating uh, his 85th birthday tomorrow, and uh, Kononenko and Ovchinin took time out at the beginning of today's spacewalk to pay tribute to Leonov. That uh, tribute acknowledged a short time ago in uh, radio communications from Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow, who received uh, acknowledgement uh, from uh, Leonov's family. Please be very careful with your safety tether hook. Yeah, actually it got wrapped around the handle, so, so I had to uh, unwrap it. You, you couldn't do that on purpose, if, even if you tried. But now I'm back in business. Okay. Is attached to uh, the tethers, not a handle. And can you check the short tether and see if uh, the cover on it is still intact? I can't see it. It's okay. Keep going. Are you talking about this thing that's sticking out? Yep, it, it came out of the cover. Can, can you tuck it back in? Yeah, let's, let's do that later. Yeah, let's not uh, waste any time here. Continue translating. Yeah. 
MVP of pitching. Um, position yourself. So use this gap spanner, hook, hook yourself to it, and then um, go up. And I've also attached a crew lock back to this tether. Okay. Turn around. You can uh, translate to my left. I think I need to get to it uh, from the other side. Where I am? Yes. Okay, so I'll go lower and you can get where I was just now. Okay. Be careful not to entangle the tether. And actually, you can adjust, uh, hook yourself up to my non adjustable tether. It's all tangled up right here, Oleg. I'll get it on the way back. No, actually, hang on, Oleg. I'm working on untangling your safety to the Shall we just um, hook it up to uh, this gap spanner? It already is, but if um, it tangles up with yours, just rehook it to free up your safety tether. And then um, we'll get all the stuff back when we return. I'm going to attach it to your non-adjustable tether, Oleg. Here it is. I see it. That's done. I'm going to get around on the other side. 
Tucker's on the vet. I don't think so. All right, you're you're all free to go. Your tethers are clear. So I'm going to work on these connectors. One is off. And the second one is off. This is Mission Control Houston. As we approach the uh, five hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk, we'll be regaining our downlink television capability, as you see at this moment. Uh, looking at the helmet camera from Oleg Kononenko as he and uh, Alexei Ovchinin demate uh, connectors for the second of the two Obstinovka plasma wave experiment packages. It and its associated antenna boom uh, will be jettisoned a short time from now, wrapping up the final task on today's spacewalk timeline. You probably need to uh, hook yourself up to a handrail. Yes, I realize that. What do you think about um, taking off all of the connectors, all four? Well, Alexei is uh, right there, uh, right now. He's going to go around them. Yeah, it's really not uh, something that makes a difference, but since you're already there and working on the other two, it makes sense to just uh, do all four at the same time. Okay. I'm going to turn around so I can see the connectors. The connectors are unmated. Alexei, are you ready? I could probably go to the other side. Oleg, you're standing right in front of where I'm about to uh, jettison in the same direction. Do you want me to just... Uh, Lay down and let it pass by me. No, I'm. You know what? I'm. I'm just gonna change my position. At, hold on to the handrail. So you will be jettisoning with your left hand and holding on to the handrail with your right hand. Correct? That's right. All right, go ahead and remove the tether. Mm -hmm. 
short tether. And we're standing by for the jettisoning of the second of the two antenna booms uh, for the Obstinovka plasma wave experiment. I'm holding. International Space Station currently flying right. 254 miles over the Pacific Ocean. Here, you can hold on to the price. Can you throw it now? Just don't throw it at me. Do you have it? Do you have a hold on it? Yes. Make sure those cables don't hit me. There's a crew lock bag. Yeah, it's right behind you, Alexei. So I'm, I'm holding on to the antenna. And um, send it in the direction under, under the antenna. Towards me, but under the antenna. Alexei, here, uh, grab a hold of the antenna and I will hold on to the crew log bag. Got it. Are you sure? I, I got it. I have it covered. Are you sure? Positive. Go ahead. It's looking good. And one hour after the first of the two Obstinovka antenna booms was jettisoned, the second is now away, leaving uh, just uh, the second Obstinovka unit itself uh, to be demated and jettisoned to wrap up today's spacewalk tasks. Sergey, how lucky you are. You are in a nice uh, room uh, with a TV on, and you're just watching things happen on TV. What a wonderful view. Haven't um, seen it from this angle before. Oh, my God, how beautiful. Right, one is off, and the second one is off. At the uh, five-hour, five-minute mark in the spacewalk, uh, Kononenko and Ovchina now will uh, demate uh, connectors holding the Obstinovka plasma wave experiment, the second of these two unit boxes, if you will, uh, in place on the Zvezda service module, it uh, also will be jettisoned. And at that point, uh, the crew will have wrapped up all of their tasks for the day. The Obstinovka experiment measuring plasma wave activity as uh, the International Space Station uh, plows, if you will, through low Earth orbit at an altitude of 250 uh, plus miles. This uh, experiment was first installed uh, back on April 19th, 2013, during a Russian spacewalk and uh, has completed uh, its data collection activities, resulting in today's removal and jettisoning of uh, the associated hardware. It's at a hard stop. Alexei, I will need to move over to, to where you are. I just need to um, undo it completely. Is the other end higher? Because it seems like um, it's not um, turning anymore. Uh, 
I can't see it, Alexei. I see the handrail, but I don't see the nut that's holding it. Are you in position? Not yet. Go ahead and uh, assume the position. Um, am I in the trajectory of, uh, or the in the direction where you're about to throw it? No. What if I move over closer to you? Where are you going to go? Do you want me to go further? Or go behind me? I, I don't know. Where are you going to go? That depends on where you're going to throw it. All right. You would need to move to the left, Oleg. That's what I proposed I, I do when I started this whole conversation. Move to the to the left, so um, I'm not in. In the way of um, the thing you're about to throw out. What is this? Crew lock bag? Yes, it is. Let me uh, secure it to the handrail. And it's uh, tethered to the handrail. Does that look good? Let me check. Remember, we, we will need to unhook it, too, before throwing it, because it's still attached to the tether. So um, you are facing Earth with your feet, so uh, maybe you could throw it that way behind my head. The crew lock bag is back. You can put it between your legs if that's
Интересно, почему концентрация грязи вокруг заклепок, а? Да, и личков тоже. For whatever reason, the dirt seems to settle around the, where the rivets are. Yes, that's interesting. So are you ready?